Hi guys, Jeff Goins here, and I want to share with you the secret to getting a guest post published on an A-list blog. So as a writer, as a blogger, as somebody who wants to share my words with the world, I've realized that um, nobody wants to listen to me, or at least they didn't in the beginning. Uh, the way that I earned an audience was by um, partnering with people who had existing audiences, sharing a piece of content with uh, those audiences, and then attracting those readers back to my blog. And that is basically guest posting. You write an article for another person's blog in exchange for a little bit of exposure, so you do it for free usually, and then you get a link back to your blog, and there are ways to strategically maximize the potential there so you get a lot of traffic and convert that to uh, email addresses. But what I want to talk about in this video is how you get that opportunity in the first place because most people don't have that opportunity and most people don't realize the secret to getting guest posts published uh, is not something technical. It's something relational. It's all about relationships. All of the guest posts that I've ever published uh, were born out of a relationship that I had with the host blog or with the person who, are, who was having me guest post on their blog. So how do you make that happen? Well, I've got seven tips for you today to help you build relational bridges with bloggers so that you can get your message out there and grow your own blog. Um, so the first tip is this. You need to be polite. So don't ever underestimate the discipline of just being nice to somebody, just being cordial to people, even those people that you don't know if they can do anything for you. Um, just be nice to other bloggers and that can get you a, a long way. So say please, thank you, don't be too pushy. I get lots of requests from bloggers who demand uh, or try to coerce me into featuring their content in my, on my blog and nobody likes to hear that. So don't be that kind of person. Uh, that's the first tip, be polite. Second. Don't be afraid to ask. So I get emails from other bloggers sometimes and they um, don't ever come out and ask for the opportunity to guest post. And uh, there's a lesson there. Nobody can give you something that you aren't first willing to accept yourself. You have to ask for it. Uh, and and so, you know, the, the worst that they can say is no. And, and that's okay because it frees you up to move on to uh, ask somebody else. The third tip is to write quality content. And as much as this sounds like a technical thing, it's actually a relational thing. Uh, I know lots of bloggers who uh, like to give away their B content, like not their best work. They keep their best work for their own blog, but they give away like their B level content to other bloggers. And I get these kinds of requests where they go, hey, I, I didn't have any space for this on my blog, but I thought maybe you would want it. And it's just not written well. I can tell that it's not their best work. And the lesson here is to be generous. Give away your best work and uh, that will come back around to you. You will, um, you will get something out of that generosity and time. Uh, so don't be afraid to do that. Uh, the fourth tip is to be persistent. So uh, a lot of times a blogger will ask and, and somebody will say no, and then they'll never ask again or they'll just kind of give up with guest posting in general. Um, I get it, you're a writer, uh, you're somebody who is sensitive, maybe introverted, and um, it can be hard to get rejected. I totally get that. I've had lots of rejection uh, myself, and I, if I would have uh, just stopped at the first no, I, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing today. You have to be persistent. You have to persevere. If you don't succeed, try, try again. We've all heard that, uh, and that's a lot harder than it sounds. It's easy to get discouraged, but keep going um, because the world does need your words, and there are audiences waiting to hear what you have to say. Uh, you just need to persist. The fifth tip is to add value. So it, you don't just want to write good content. You want to write content that is relevant and valuable to that particular uh, audience. Give them something that they need. A lot of times I get articles from uh, guest bloggers, potential guest bloggers, who want me to publish something that basically I've already written about three or four times already, and it shows me that these people aren't reading my blog. They're trying to get something out uh, out of this relationship with me without first giving something. And that never feels good. Nobody wants to be taken advantage of. Uh, so add value first. Uh, the sixth tip, and this sounds a little superficial, is to have a decent looking blog. Like if, if you're sending me something and you're on wordpress.com and uh, you know none of your site is customized or you don't even have an image 
of your face uh, on your blog. I don't know who you are. It just doesn't look very professional. And you don't have to spend a lot of money to have a pro-looking site. There are lots of free uh, WordPress themes out there. There's some great tools out there that are uh, free or very, very cost effective. And uh, just show me that you're going to put a little bit of work into your blog, into the way you represent yourself. Because if I'm going to have you on my blog representing me, uh, I want to make sure that you um, are going to do a good job with it. And uh, taking that seriously, having a, having a good looking professional blog so that when somebody goes to your blog and they see that um, you're the real deal, it's going to make an impression. So that's the sixth tip. Have a good looking blog. The seventh and final tip is serve before asking to be served. The best way to network, the best way to succeed is to help people, to do favors without expecting anything in return. And if you're gonna guest post for somebody, you're gonna get something out of it. So try to give, 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 give. Add as much value as you can. Write the best article that you can. Uh, be incredibly helpful to the audience. These are some of the tips that are going to help you connect with bloggers that will create these long-term sustainable relationships that will allow you to reach an audience and continue to uh, let your work grow.